Welcome to the session today. We're going to talk about uh, VM performance innovations around protecting your mission critical applications. My name is Brian Reynolds, and I'm a product manager in the data protection division at Dell Technologies. We're going to talk a little bit about the challenges we have today when protecting our mission critical applications and the innovations that we're working on in Dell and going to be previewing around the enhancements to our scale and performance when it comes to VM image backups. And finally, we'll talk a little bit about how this new enhanced data image backup is going to allow you to do more with your data than just protect it. So let's talk a little bit about the challenges. Today's VMs are faster and bigger. VMware continues to enhance the performance and capacity of the VM disks, which means that our VMs are running faster and they can handle more transactions. We're also seeing that they need to be able to accommodate that global environment. So they have fewer downtimes when we can be able to take those VM image backups. And when we talk about traditional backups, one of the challenges we have is when determining those deltas that we need to for being able to archive those, the data, we find that, that we have to halt the VM while we're looking and capturing that, that image. And that's going to result in the application becoming stunned. And the other problem we have is that we have a dependency on our external prox air agents. Uh, these agents we use to move and transfer the data to our storage. And these external proxies exist in our production environment, which means we have to be able to deploy and manage those resources. And they're taking away from our ability to support our production VMs. So let's look a little bit more into a VM image backup. There's really three stages that, that make up a backup. We have our snapshot creation, and this is where our point in time representation is created, is, is collected for the VM decay. And we use this to be able to determine the deltas. We see that this operation requires for us to be able to quiet that VDK, VM decay so that we can be able to get those changes. The next process, part of the process is to process those snapshots. And this is where we have to work with our external agents to move the data over and to determine what those changes and deltas are, and then send those over to storage. And finally, we have to clean up, which means that we need to consolidate that point in time representation with the current VM decay and ensure that we have all those captured, all those changes captured. We tend to see a lot of uh, in, uh, IOPS degradation in both the creation and the deletion steps. We also see a lot of impact on our performance when it comes to processing and moving that data since I'm using production resources. So that introduces uh, the problem. How are customers getting around it? Well, today they're using workarounds to solve or to deal with those issues. One of the things that they're doing is they're taking a limited set of data and trying to protect only that, which requires our users and customers to be able to determine what is the valuable data and continually making sure that they're protecting the right information. We all, this still has a, a challenge because I still require my agents on the host now to be able to capture those file and application level data. The other option that we've seen customers try to do is limit the backups, not take as many and be less, uh, less frequent um, in hoping to capture those backups during those downtimes. But in our global environment, we're finding that that time is unpredictable and I may need to have my, up, my, my systems up when I, a backup is scheduled. The other problem I have is that it increases the gap between my backups, which gives me fewer copies to be able to use for restore. And I have less ability to be flexible when it comes to restoring my system. So here at Dell, we've been, we've been working to enhance the way that we do VM image backups. And the way that we've been looking to solve this is to ensure that we eliminate the need to pause that VM during a backup. This solution that we're looking at is storage agnostic. So we're gonna be able to leverage this across all our various storage platforms. And we're eliminating as well, the need for us to be able to have that dependency on our external agents during that processing of the data and moving it to our storage. This would be ideal to solve those problems with your large data sets where you can't afford to have that IOP interaction in, in, reduction. So let's talk a little bit about this new enhanced 
VM image protection. So first off, we've enabled our VMs to monitor the changes. And as Power Protect Data Manager makes a request for a backup, it's able to get a transparent snapshot of those changes without any uh, IOPS inter inter interference. And these, these snapshot then is able to be pushed directly from the ESX to our Power Protect DD without having to do any additional hops. And then my final step is just cleaning up. And that cleanup operation is very simple. It's just a simple removal of that transparent snapshot with no requirement for me to sync up those changes with the current running VMDK. So this really allows us to be able to uh, see improvements when it comes to performance. We've eliminated the need to uh, create that point in time snapshot, which means that I no longer have that pause of my IOPS. And as we look at large VMs, I can be able to take that, that snapshot without any disruption to the business. And therefore it is truly transparent. We've also been able to reduce the need for that cleanup. So therefore the cleaning up and removal of that snapshot is a simple operation with no impact to that running VM. And in our labs, we see that those IOPS can stay consistent across the entire, the entire snapshot operation, which is ideal for those VMs which are large that need to be able to have their IOPS maintained in order to handle the high transactions that they're trying to process. From a scale perspective, we've removed the need to copy those changes to an external uh, agent. And this has allowed us to be able to remove those hops. And so I no longer need to be concerned about where my, my external agents are deployed and how they're deployed and where they sit in relationship to my ESX. I've also been able to, with the embedded data mover, reduce the impact on our production environment. So we're no longer using production resources when we copy our data over from the ESX to the PowerProtect DD. And this has eliminated the need for a management of all of those external agents. Since I no longer have to deploy them, I no longer have to manage them and make sure that they're upgraded and that they're all running and, and keeping healthy. I no longer have that ownership and I'm not leveraging my production resources to be able to have to allocate space for them. So therefore I'm able to, to truly use my entire ESX for my production without having to account for space and resources required for data protection. I've also been able to uh, ensure that as part of our, when we deploy that, that embedded data, uh, data mover, we have the ability for it to be propagated and scaled automatically. So as you add hosts to your cluster, that data mover will get automatically moved and, and installed and deployed and configured. So there's no work for you as a customer to ensure that that data mover is up and running. And as we expand our environments, those data movers will expand with it. So this is really changing the way that we can protect uh, those VMs. So the VMs that used to be unprotectable, we will now be able to protect, which allows you to be able to uh, take more backups and no longer have to wait for downtime, which gives you a lot more flexibility when it comes to providing solid re recovery since your copies will be more frequent. You're not going to have data being lost. And I'll have the ability to recover those in the same manner that I do with a backup. I'll be able to go directly from the PowerProtect DD to the ESX with no additional hop or involvement of those external product, uh, agents. And this ultimately allows us to focus back on the VM as a valuable asset. I no longer have to be concerned about what's on my VMs. I can protect the whole VM and be assured that it's not losing any critical data. Nor do I have to be considering working with trying to manage all of those agents that may be looking for the file data or application data. I can just protect the whole VM, no agents needed. So that really reduces the amount of infrastructure that I need to deploy and manage. It makes things easier for you as a, as a customer to be able to ensure that you've got data protection up and running without requiring you to to configure and manage in your production environment any of those external agents or those host agents. So in summary, we really, this is gonna be an opportunity. We're excited to present to you 
this this new uh, innovative way of doing uh, enhanced VM image backups. We realize that this is going to provide you with a solution for those mission critical applications that today you cannot protect. And it'll give you complete coverage of your entire VM without having you to have to figure out what data needs to be protected or what's critical on that particular disk. And this is ideal when I need to be able to protect those VMs that have a need to be able to run in this global environment. And we're excited to offer this, uh, this new uh, enhanced VM image backup uh, with a snapshot and the data movers that have been developed here at Dell Technologies. And this is going to open the door for you to be able to move over some of your systems that may be currently still physical to a virtualized environment and still be protected and have the same level of data protection that you would expect without the need of having to deploy all of those agents. And we're really excited to be able to provide this for you because we know this is a problem that's been around and we believe it's about time for it to be solved. So if you'd like to learn more about Power Protect Data Manager and what we're doing to be able to enhance our data protection from a VM image perspective, please check out our website or join us on Twitter. And thank you very much for joining me in this session.